Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, psychic medium and divine channeler, and this is the Pisces reading. Please bear in mind that as a rule, all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. Okay, so for today's reading, we're going to use the Angel Answer cards to get the overall energy of the reading, along with the Soul Journey Lesson cards. Then for the main part of the reading, we're going to use the Inner Child Tarot. And then for the extended, I think it's going to be the Lightseer Tarot. So we'll play that bit by ear. Okay, what do you need to know, Pisces? Do, 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 do. Look, we've got sunshine sunshine thank god it stopped raining okay so in the near future is your angel answer cards okay so that's good news is it not what have you been waiting for the ch i want to say the change you have been waiting for okay and surrender Okay, so there's a need for you to, the, the bottom of the surrender card reads, I can release my need to control. And that is really what you're needing to do for the changes to happen in the near future. I feel like you're trying to control an outcome, trying to figure out the ins and outs of each and every single step to get where you're needing to be. But I feel there's a need for you just to step back and be like, it's okay, it's gonna happen, everything's okay, everything's flowing as it should, it will happen, because it will. Know with faith, it will, and trust, okay? So let go of the need to control this outcome, and it will come quicker, it's coming in your near future. Okay, and let's have a look at more what is coming for you. guide of crystals so I feel like that is that control thing as well trying to hold everything restricted hold everything close to your chest maybe not share maybe just try and keep everything controlled as much as you can and by keeping it within yourself you're keeping it controlled as much as you can okay um you really just need to let that go and then we have the nine of crystals because it really does feel like you're wanting that feeling of home, that contented, joyful feeling where you are at peace with the people around you. Because I feel for for whatever reason, there's been an element of you not being 100% happy with the people around you. And that is the change which you're waiting for. But you've got to let go to allow that change to come. You've got to allow it to happen. You've got to allow it to come to you. Okay. Because it is all coming together. There is that celebration. The people are coming. I want to say people. Because it feels like there's changes. I want to say maybe in families or it's more than just one person coming to you. Maybe one person initially is coming to you but it's increasing your family it really does feel that increase in family and it really feels like that relief of being in the moment letting go of the need to control because you're happy and content in the moment know to let go of something you are making space for what you're actually wanting Okay, whether that is surrendering how you think it should turn out or letting go of somebody in your life which you know isn't meant to be there. It's time to let go. It's time to release. And it will all come together in that relief celebration energy. We then have the Midas touch. So I do feel that there's quick 
I want to say nearly instant changes. As soon as you release the need to control because you are fully trusting in your outcome, that really amps up your manifesting energy and things change just like that. Okay? It is that energy of... quick instant changes okay and all your hard work is paying off because things are falling into place and that they're falling into place because you have done what you need to do then you've trusted and let it go and by letting it go you're releasing so the energy can flow because when you're holding everything together there's no movement so that final piece of your puzzle, which you have been waiting for, which you have been searching for, which you have been wanting, is coming to you, is falling into place. I'm re really drawn to the shock on the king's face because I really do feel it will be quite the shock element as things fall into place for you as quickly as they do because... Although you want it, there is that lack of belief that you can have it. It's almost like you believe everybody else can have it, but not you. Then we have the Seeker of Crystals, which is really this change, this allowing and the belief really gives you some internal power. I feel like you're walking taller, you're feeling more confident. You are feeling like you are moving forwards and things can just flow to you. So there's definitely a change in your confidence and belief within yourself as well, which brings these changes and the changes increase that with you as well. Stand tall. Feel your power and stand in your power. You can do this. You will do this and it will happen. And it's happening in the near future. Okay, beautiful. I feel like this is a perfect time to head over to the extended reading. So if this is where you leave me, thank you so very much for joining me. As always, it is a pleasure. I am truly grateful to be able to support you on your journey. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I am truly grateful for each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe. Namaste. Bye.